My name is Gladys, and I'm very, very excited. I'm a happy person. Happy because I love what I do. And yet I met it by coincidence. You know, it's not anything I had planned in my life. Uh, what happened is that I went to school like everybody else. I graduated as a teacher at Kenyatta University. And then I went on to look for a job at the bank. I had passion working for a bank, which I did. And I worked for Okay, so um, my second meeting, when I went, it was a very sober meeting. It was done by Dorothy Nyongo, Lupita's mom. And she explained something about health that nobody had ever done to me. And that ticked and clicked in my mind. I love knowledge, I love reading more, I love being taught. And that was the beginning. And that's the reason I'm here 19 years down the line. I am a mother of two beautiful girls. My first born is 28 and my second born is 22. So when I came and we were explained about the health part, I realized I was a very ignorant mother. I was doing all the wrong things a mother can do in the name of love, in terms of feeding them. And on that day, I made a decision that I'm going to change. And that has been a journey. I, I, for, I'll forever be grateful to that journey because I remember even when we came in, we had just done a small harambe as a family. We are five of us. We collected 50,000 so that my mother could go for an operation for her joints. And we were ready to go. But I remember my sister got this opportunity just before then. And the people who she interacted with told her, she asked them, yeah, you're dealing with supplements. So will it help my mother? And they said, yeah, we are not medis, we are not doctors, but these products are really good. They repair the damage done in the body. Why don't you just try for the next six months? Give your mom the products and thereafter, we see if it doesn't work, let her go for the operation. If it works, then that's a story for another day. I want to tell you 19 years down the line, my mom has not gone for that operation. Can you believe it? Yes, she has had her challenges here and there on the bone and joints, but it's been an amazing journey. So I'm, I get very excited when I'm talking about bone and health because I saw it firsthand. I grew up with a mother who used to break anything. She would break her hand. I remember there's a time she broke her leg and she stayed with that leg, not doing well for some years. And it was really a hard time for us. So I know what it means when people have joint, joint aches and bone aches. And so I'm very passionate about it. And I'm also from a family that has a, a, gene a genetic part of that. So welcome everybody on the call. Today I'll be taking you through the health and joint uh, area. I'll try to be quite fast. And um, I hope that at least we learn something because at the end of the day, anyone can be a victim of this. Anybody can, can have an accident that where they need, to, re, 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 they need to, to recover very fast. It can happen to anyone. You could be in a family where it's genetic like mine. Yeah, just give me a minute. Just a minute. Okay, just a minute. Give me one minute. Okay, I, as I try to do this, I, I, as I try to get my slides, I'll, I'll continue talking. And so basically what happened is that we had a challenge and it was sorted by these supplements. And as I was saying, anybody could, be, could have a challenge on joint and both because we all have a skeleton, each one of us. We all have bones, we all have joints, and it's very important to understand some of these things. So as we continue, just allow me to get my screen. So basically what I was saying is that,
everybody can be can have a challenge of joints and bones it could be the hands it could be your backbone it could be as i said an accident some people live very active life they are they are serious um athletes and eventually they have challenges but basically what we are saying is at the end of the day our health is our greatest wealth and when we talk about the joint is part of it so when we look at it other than just the joint in in a general sense we all have issues of chronic diseases in our families and it's becoming a problem where even the world health organization projected by 2020 there would be so many chronic diseases in the world like heart disease cancer diabetes stroke chronic respiratory obesity and even bone and joint health and so looking at that there are reasons why sometimes we have these challenges one of the reasons could be we don't exercise as we should or we over exercise those are two things so exercise is important and it should be in moderation the other things we need water water is a very important aspect of our bone and joint health where at least we are told as a woman you need two liters men need a little bit more they perspire more they are larger so we need to make sure that we are getting our water at the right time we need to eat healthy many people confuse about diet and nutrition so sometimes you think you're eating healthy and really you're not i was in that category where i used to think if i eat chips a sausage and a soda that is fanta orange i have a a, 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 a good diet little did i know that could be a challenge in itself and then of course we need to reduce our stress we all need to know that if you don't uh, reduce your stress levels your stress is going to lower your immune system and where you're weakest at that's where you are caught by the chronic diseases and of course we need to rest the the six to eight hours because in the current world there's so much to do with our gadgets too many activities and sometimes we don't do that the other aspect is we need to make sure that we are within our right body mass index it's called a bmi and you need to learn how to calculate it for yourself at home or you can actually use the you can go to the hospital sorry you can go to the hospital or you can get the, the gadgets that are in town that check your bmi and your body fat and your all those so basically we are being told ideally you need to be between 18.5 and 24.9 that is when you calculate your weight in kilograms divided by your height in meters squared anything below that is very dangerous because you're underweight anything above that you're either overweight obese or clinically obese and one of the challenges we have in joint and bone health is where somebody has too much weight and some people say you know it's in our genes we are we are we are fat we ask guys we are fat but someone makes a funny joke and says have you ever seen a fat skeleton there's none so even if it's in the genes it's an issue that you can handle if you put it into your mind and you can work the more reason you need to work very hard about that so we need to check on our weight and make sure the minute you start adding weight the minute your body starts adding weight you need to work on it at that point in time so ideally i'm sorry my screen is misbehaving i don't know why so we are being told you need to work towards having a vibrant life where you live vibrantly uh, from zero to maybe even 90 years uh, yesterday i, I read a, a, a something an article of a lady the first pilot black pilot in the world war ii and that lady she re, she she's at 102 103 and last year at 102 she actually came down a, a, a very high place in a parachute at 102 years old so it means there are people who are living a healthy vibrant life and she's still okay by all standards given her age so we really need to live a vibrant life and a vibrant life looks like that where we have it 
But if we don't eat well or look at the parameters we talked about, you realize that the stress, the sleep patterns, the lack of exercise that we are talking about, it will affect you. And that's where even you see where you can get arthritis, sugar, and all those things. And your life can take a downhill task, downhill. You know, it will take that downhill trend where you live most of your life in either the, the tired zone or the sick zone. And it goes down like that. It shouldn't be like that. So we are saying if you are tired, if you have a challenge or you are really sick, if you do something about it or somebody in your family is not well and you help in that journey, you're going to see us lifting that vibrancy up and they live a better life. So that is the responsibility we have. The scientists are saying 95% of us, they're eating foods that lack nutrients, knowingly or unknowingly. 75 actually deliberately consume incorrect foods, a lot of sugar, a lot of fat. Yesterday I had a conversation with somebody who is very well fast in the supplement industry and the health industry, but she told me she takes soda every day. And I had to take time and explain to her how bad that is. And I told her I'm going to keep her on check to make sure that she works out of that addiction because it is really tough and it's not good for your health. So if you're taking a lot of sodas, you're on this call, or maybe you do a lot of those drinks that are in the supermarket that you mix, I want to tell you it's the high time to stop. So how does a healthy diet looks like? These are wellness pyramid. We need to eat a lot of whole grains. I know many of us have excuses. The whole grains are not sweet. They are for diabetics. They don't cook, they take long to cook. That, that is your body giving that story, the, your mouth. But ideally the body needs whole grains for specific reasons. Because at the end of the day, that oil in the jam, that fiber in the grain, it is required. So if you're eating stripped food, I want to tell you, you're not being fair to your body. You need to think about it very seriously. Fruits and veggies, you need between six servings to 13 servings. And if you're on this call, I am a teacher, I'll give you homework. I want you to go and read what the carotenoids do in terms of fruits and vegetables, the family of carotenoids. Go and read about the flavonoids and go and read about the cruciferous. All those three, they have a role in the body and they should not be compromised for whatever reason. And then we need to have our good protein, plant-based protein and white meat, more of that. And where we are talking about the animal protein, the other animal protein other than the white meat should be eaten sparingly. There's a doctor mentor of ours, Dr. Fatma Abdallah. She's a cancer specialist. She says uh, a kilo of meat should be eaten by about 12 men. How do you like that? So ideally we are saying, when you think about eating your, when you think about eating your meat, you should eat in small pieces, just a few grams. That's what you need to do, a few grams. And, but many of us will sit down on a kilo and we work on it properly. And we do it today, tomorrow, and any other day that happens. I'll be dwelling more on that in this subject. And then anything that has sugars and fats should be very limited, a spoon per day. But you see, we've inverted this pyramid. Let me, I'll explain the reason why when you invert this pyramid, you surely can be a candidate of having joint issues. You see, when you're eating a lot of sugars and a lot of refined starch, cause that's where our rice is, our ugali, our chapati, mandazi, samosa, pizza, burger. If you were to write a list, it would be too long right now. And there's, I talked about the sweets and the cakes and all that. And then a lot of the animal protein. What happens with these two category of foods? They make your body acidic. And an acidic body will cause inflammation. And where there's inflammation, there will be damage to the organs, including your joints and your bones.
And the most terrifying thing is that people who are used to taking a lot of sugar, for every spoon of sugar you take, I don't know how you take, how many you take, maybe the first two can be utilized for energy giving in the body. They'll be utilized for energy. But the others, they are going to be too much for the body because remember the whole grains and the fruits and the whole grains, they have their own oils naturally and their own fats and their own sugars. So you've added again when you do the refined foods and the, 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 the meats and all that in excess. So what happens is that they start eating into your calcium in the body. Imagine, imagine a situation where your calcium is being, your calcium is being eaten up. It's been utilized much more than it should. Again, when you become a menopausal lady, when your estrogen starts going down, your calcium is not absorbed as much. And not to mention the other challenges, our farming methods. We are farming every day with fertilizer. Now, what does that mean? We are not doing crop rotation. We are not doing manure. We are not doing mulching. The old way of farming. So what that means is our soils are depleted of calcium, magnesium, and all other elements that are very important for building your bone and your joints. And then the other thing is the oils that we take. We are supposed to take good oil from fish called the omega-3 fish oil. The omega-3 fish oil is so important to the body and I'll be explaining the reason why. But this is the kind of di diet we are looking at. Whether you are eating these or not, your ugali is there, your rice is there, your spaghetti is there, falls in that category, okay? So we need to look at it in other ways. Now, when we talk about bone and joint health, really, we are saying um, a bone is a living organ. It has tissues and it plays a very structural role in the body. And because it is a living thing, it has to continue being renewed throughout your life. And you need to know the older you become, the less the renewing. I'm sorry about my gadget. Really, really sorry. I don't know what is happening. Um, we have been told that the bone is made up of some protein, some minerals like calcium, magnesium, very, very important. And your bone mass starts decreasing at the age of 40. By the time you hit your 40, it starts reducing. And if you're not taking care of it, you'll have a very hard time during your older years. And we also need elements like vitamin D. Vitamin D is very important for the absorption of calcium. Then there are other things that happen to the body. Like for example, we are talking about a fracture. You know when your body gets a fracture, it is, that one will affect you. It will affect the, the quality of your bones. When you get other diseases that are immune, autoimmune diseases, like there are those people who get what we call uh, rheumat rheumatoid arthritis. That one has something to do with uh, your immunity, you know? And then we have other things like, sorry, other thi I talked about rheumatoid arthritis. I talked uh, about uh, uh, osteoarthritis, fractures. All those things are very confusing. Sorry about my, my, my gadget. I don't know what is happening to it today. This is where I was. Osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, fractures, injuries, a lack of proper nutrients in diet, over exercise, diseases like lupus, leukemia. They can be very hard. And even cancer, some cancers, even prostate cancer can be very hard on the bones. Mineral deficiency, infections. Let's not ignore infections when you have infections. Overweight, we talked about that. For women, the thyroid, we need to make sure that our thyroid is not overactive. Family history, I told you I have a family history like that one, hormonal changes, smoking, some medications, and uh, drinking too much alcohol. All that can be part of it. And so what is the solution? The solution is this. Sometimes we don't make our own food. So we depend on the farmers to feed us. And so that means that unga you are brought, wherever it came from, that soil, you don't know the level of the calcium, 
the level of the magnesium and the vitamins that were there. To make it worse, it has been refined. So it's been removed the jam and the husk. Those two elements in a grain are very important for calcium levels, vitamin levels, and the magnesium we are talking about. And again, remember the fruits, I told you you need to move from six to almost 13 types of fruits and vegetables. We aren't doing that. There's somebody who will only eat one fruit in a day, a banana, and they are good to go. Or a slice of pineapple, you're good to go. And then when you look at the proteins we are eating, we may not be having as much quality, or we are overdoing in terms of doing the foods I've talked about that cause inflammation. They are causing more damage than what they should be doing to your body. So we are saying that there is a gap and that is the gap that new life comes to fulfill. I would make a humble appeal. You try to understand why scientists way back in the 40s and in the 50s, they realize this is a big thing. And that's why the more educated we are, the more we are getting sick and people don't seem to understand why. Can you imagine we have so much uh, technology, we have so much milestone in the medical field, yet people are becoming sicker and sicker. And it was not like so during our grandparents' time. So they realized the stripping of the food, the transportation of the food, the storage of the food is compromising the vitamins that we need. And even the GMO aspect where foods are being done GMO way. Sometimes some are being done just using water. So they lack a lot of nutrients. So that is the solution we are seeking to look at. So we are being told for you to prevent those uh, uh, challenges, you need to have a good BMI, you need to have enough calcium and uh, vitamin D and magnesium. You need to avoid smoking and taking alcohol and you need to look at a good uh, supplement that you need. Why are supplements good? Supplements are good if they are whole in themselves. They are from whole food and if they are organic. Those two elements are very important, not just organic. They must be organic and whole food. What does that mean? They must be extracted from the foods that God intended for us to eat in the first place. Making sure there are no chemicals, making sure that they, they are picked at the right time. You know, even the, the picking of the, the fruits or the grain at the right time is very important. Sometimes we eat, white, uh, we eat a lot of meat in, I mean maize, but some of it is the, the maize that is young, the green maize. That is more of a form of a vegetable than when it is the hard maize that is dried. In Nairobi, it's hard to cook the, maize, the, the hard maize if you are using gas all the time or something, and you don't even have that time to cook for three, four, five hours. So the scientists have come together and come up with a solution where they are saying, we've done our research, we are ratified by other world organizations, and I want you to go and do your own research about that. Go to the, the New Life University and click the one for the scientific advisory board so that you understand what we are talking about. It was formed by this gentleman who is the father of chemotherapy in the world, cancer treatment. He is the father of toxins in the world and is one of the highest leading scientists from Stan who even created Stanford University. So all these people are clinicians, pharmacists, nutritionists, some of them are dermatologists in their right, because even the skin is part of health. And so what we are saying is, what is the solution? The first solution you need to think about, when someone is saying, I'm not feeling well, I'm really not good, you start by giving them the provitality. This is a product, part of it, that was initiated in 1958, when New Life was formed, after the US government had done a research for 12 good years. So those are the same scientists who initiated this and gave it as a, as a solution to the government. So it's something that has been there for the last 63 years. So with the pro-vitality, you have the tree and then that is going to bring back the oils that you are lacking by eating refined foods. Why is that important? Because for you to be healthy, 
your cells must be healthy. We are walking, feeling good about our body, but if your cells are hurting, you're going to leave that life we saw of going down. So the first thing you do is to make sure that your cells are at their best. TNN guarantees that. And it is a patented product is the is one, I mean, there's no other company in the world that has that. You can check on it. And then we have the carotenoid. The carotenoid will do the area of um, boosting your immunity. Remember, we've said some of these bone challenges are autoimmune in themselves, like the rheumatoid arthritis. Even the bacterial infections that can affect you. It's, it means you need to have enough immunity to fight the bacteria or the fungi or whatever it, the whatever is coming, the pathogen that is coming into your body before it multiplies to, to hurt you and bring you down, the body is able to fight because you have a, a fighter for yourself. So carotenoid is very good. The other thing about carotenoid, it will keep you away from cancer. And remember we said some forms of cancer eventually affect the bones. So you make sure that you keep your cancer at bay, the, the cells are able to be taken care of because we all have cancer cells. But the question is, are we feeding it or we are depriving it of the things that make it grow so that it can die off more and go to remission? Then another very important thing is the oil you can see here called omega-3. Everybody in the world needs to be on omega. Starting with the, the girl who is thinking of getting a family. Before a girl becomes pregnant, she needs to have sufficient omega in the body because that would be very critical for the kind of baby that you bring forth. While you're pregnant, from the very beginning, you need to make sure you have enough omega-3 fatty acids for all the, the organs of the baby to be nourished at the right time. Immediately a baby is born, they need to be on omega-3 either through breastfeeding or even giving it to the baby. Some people may say, can a, a, a young child be given? Yes. I remember my niece got a baby who was a premature. And when the baby was two weeks, three weeks, the doctor actually recommended omega-3, recommended something for adding blood to the body and calcium. And that amazed me. And we administered that and it really helped the baby. Again, I've seen babies who can't suckle because they don't have that formation, even they are lacking calcium in their system. Calcium is very important. Then we have a balance of the vitamins and mineral in the multi. So this is a good base to start with. Now, if somebody uh, has challenges bigger than you can imagine, now the challenge is bigger. I've explained about how the provitality works. If somebody has a bigger challenge, then that's where now you come and introduce calcium. Calcium is very, very important. You introduce these other three, the calcium, the salmon oil, and the full motion. Why the three of them? Each has the, its work it does. For example, the calcium will work on the nerves, the muscles, and making sure that your bones get back the mass that it needs. And remember, when you have enough calcium, even the body is able to produce enough blood cells. Remember the blood is manufactured within the bone, right? So it is able to do that. So even people who have heart conditions, palpitations, they have high blood pressure, calcium is very, very important for that. Now, this calcium has a combination of calcium to magnesium in the right ratio of two to one. For every two calciums, you need one magnesium. That ratio is very important. And then they add the D3 which is also very, very good. It's an oil that makes sure the absorption of the calcium is at its best. So it's good for normalizing blood pressure, optimal nerves, muscles, the bones, and your teeth. There's nothing as bad as having tooth problems. I've lost one tooth. I'm in the process of almost losing another one. There's nothing as bad as having dental issues. Because the more you have dental issues, the more you visit a dentist, and the more chemicals are put in your system, the injections, the, the, the whatever it is they put, whether they are trying to plaster the tooth. I mean, that process has a lot of chemicals that is not good for our system. 
So the more you can avoid that, the better. We need to make sure our children are not eating too much sweets because eventually, or if you find a child has weak bones, a child has, um, they have weak bones, weak teeth, that is a sign that all is not well. Immediately you need to give them the calcium. I talked about omega-3. Omega is very important for the joints. At the joint area, area there's some fluid called synovial fluid. And what is going to happen with age and wear and tear, if that fluid is not sufficient, then the bones start eating each other. And in the process of eating each other, then you start getting a lot of pain and inflammation. So you need omega-3 to come and clear that inflammation because the more the, bon the body is in pain with the, with the inflammation, the more you keep taking painkillers. And remember, painkillers don't repair the damage. They only calm down the pain, but the damage is still there. So it becomes a, something you have to do for the rest of your life. So when you need, you need to be on omega-3 and you make sure you're not doing the one, at least you're doing about three tablets on the minimum per day at that particular point, because that inflammation needs to be taken care of in the next two to three weeks, as soon as possible. So if you have somebody who has arthritis, they need to take their salmon oil, preferably the 90 capsule one is more ideal for the grown-ups. And then you make sure they are doing not less than three in a day. And you stretch that for some months. Because remember, the joints and bone problems, they take years to form. So you shouldn't expect magic. And this is not medicine. This is going to repair a cell at a time, a day at a time, until the atmosphere in the body is much better or completely better. Because God gave us food as medicine. And there's a, there's a saying that says, if you don't eat food as medicine, you will eat medicine as food. And that's not what we want. And we've seen our parents eating a lot of medicine and relatives and all that. So omega is good for that. It's also good for um, the cholesterol levels of the body. If somebody has cholesterol, they need to take it together with uh, lipotropic. So it also has another added advantage for the body. And not to mention it's the food for the brain. Why the Neolife Omega? The Omega has the family of eight. You can see there those oils, AAA, LA, SDA, EPTA, and all those. Most of the products in the market, if you read clearly, they have EPA and DHA, which are the, the most common and the most important. But that doesn't mean the others are not important. They are completely important. And so when you have that family of eight, you have a better outcome. And we have omega even for our children, so we should not look at that. Remember, damage begins from our eating habits, right from when a child is in the stomach if you ate badly. When they are kids, if you're feeding them with junk, it's a problem in itself. So we all need omega-3 without any exception. Uh, then, of course, we have the full motion. Why the full motion? The full motion has something we call glucosamine. It has boron, it has zinc, and all those elements are very, very important for repairing the cartilage. The cartilage is like when you're eating, um, when you're eating chicken, the bone of the chicken. That bone at the corner, there's that thing that it's not meat, it's not, you, you find it's not meat and it's not bone. That soft part, that cartilage when it gets finished, somebody gets into a lot of pain. Sometimes there has to be knee cap replacements and all that. So what happens is that the, the full motion comes and takes care of repairing that cartilage. And once again, remember that repair is not automatic. It takes time. You have to be patient with the body. So there it is, and you can get more information. And then we have now the weight. If you have weight, the first place you begin is to help your body cut that weight. Very, very important. So those are the things you can do. But of course, remember, you must eat well. That is something that we must say. In closing, what are we saying? If you're on this call and you're a guest, we tell you come and partner with New Life Direct as a consumer. There are people who come and just partner as consumers. They are not interested in the business. 
They are interested in buying for themselves or their parents at cost. So you come and partner with Neolife and you focus on learning about the health and all the other systems of the body. And then you can also come in and if you feel you can be good at referring the, whatever you see is good to the people you know, fantastic. Go ahead and move from just being a consumer. You can be recommending the products to other people. And in the process, you can make some extra income. But if you're on the call and you'd like to be as a business builder like I did, I get all the benefits. As someone who wants to understand everything about the business, you get to, to buy at discount. You get to recommend to people and make some profit. You get to actually do the business and build a network of users and recommenders. So what other people do out there with their business when they join Neolife, that's up to them. So on the call here, I'm saying, this is a high time we need to make health a very serious and integral part of your health. The same way you are an engineer and you take your engineering seriously, health needs to be given that level of commitment. If you are a lawyer and you really are interested in your law work, remember your health. The body is the one, sorry, the body is the one that makes that money. So we are seeing the beauty with new life. You can be here and you benefit on very many folds. And you don't wait for the person who invited you just to be buying for you. But if you, are, you want to be a happy user, talk to the person who invited you, ask them to send you the catalog, go through the catalog. And if you have other challenges, like for example, heart health or uh, digestive health or sugar issues, let them tell you how to go about that. We normally do many sessions like on Sunday, we'll be talking about the skin health. The skin is part of health and you need to be part of it and understand how does that go. So for me, I want to say thank you very much for being part of us and um, I'll leave it at that.